Hey everybody, guess where I am? I'm underneath my freaking house. So that's what it looks like under here. Pulling all the wires that came up through the floor right there. Pulling them all out. I got a knotted up freaking mess. But there's a few wires I cannot cut. I just don't know what the hell ones they are at the moment. I got a huge pile of wire outside. I don't know if you can see that. So I got a shitload of wire out there now. And uh, if I can clean a path, look at the size of that son of a bitch right there waiting for me. Look at that. Where is he? That big bastard. Let's see if we can put a little light on him. He's just waiting right above my head. There he is. Yeah, he's just waiting for me. Those are just those dust spider things. They ain't no big deal. I just pancake his ass in a minute, as long as he stays there. So, I mean, like, there's my water pump room down there. That's a cement block wall I built. Um, this light, you see that this light here is just a wire head running down the middle. But, boy, it's nice and dry under here. See, I see these are the jack stands holding up my house. That's how they are. Freaking jack stands. Isn't that crazy? But, I use my leaf blower to get myself in here. And uh, so now I have to untangle this mess after I go back and kill this freaking spider. I don't like them just looming right there waiting for me, so I gotta back out of here. Yeah, he's a big one. Can't really tell, but he's a biggie. I'll get my broom. Alright, where's my broom? There's my broom. Yeah, look at this while I'm out here. Look at how much wire was in this freaking house. Look at that. Just effing spaghetti. One satellite dish up there wasn't even hooked up, so I'll be ripping that off the roof. Um, we're canceling our direct TV. We're going to tell them to shove it up their ass to save money. Um, so two wires I had to leave over here. So I had to leave these two. And... I had a camera mounted up there in the peak. You can probably see the what's left of the stand of it. So that's ripped out. I used to have a huge cluster of wires coming down. I had a camera in the kitty pen. I cut that because I have a new camera in the kitty pen. Um, God, by the time I'm done, I should probably have like 30 or 40 bucks a wire. But... Yeah, this is what I'm doing right now. I'm just pulling all this shit out of here. And everything's tangled around everything else. And I have to really be careful what I'm cutting because some of this shit cannot be cut. And I'm running into snags here and there. This white one's all garbage. I'm gonna take this down to the recycle yard. Get rid of that. I made out pretty good last time. Oh, well, it's, well, that's right. Last time I had the freaking, uh, yeah, see? When I start running into, where's my cutters? Keeps falling out of my, keeps falling out of my ass. Must be I have a loose ass. Now they slide right out of your back pocket. Not your butt talks. Do not put cutters in your butt talks. It would not feel good. All right. Now, F and wire off of here. Jesus. Wow, that's a lot of wire. So, now we're going to kill the spider. But he should be up in here. I got you. I got you. Can I get him? I hope I got him. Watch him land in my face. He's gone. He's history. All right. The spider dust is coming down now. So, he's probably permanently imprinted in this brush Oof. yeah I got all that yet to get out of here without ruining anything so alright back in the spider hole I go I'll give you an update when I get done if I have enough balls today I might anchor in my eye beams that come in from under the house remember I told you about those let me remind you in case you have forgotten yeah, I know. Andy, we don't care. 
All right. You see these big ass eye beams. These go all the way through and under the house, sitting on the slab. And these are temporarily supporting it now. So the other angle plates I had, uh, the big angle iron, you had a slot in them. That slot's going to be coming right through here, like that. And then wider plates to bolt it down for more strength. So that is what's going on with that. Once I get these lagged down to the concrete, I can kick these blocks out. And now this will be floating with the slab. So, I mean, every winter, of course, this is sitting on the dirt. So when the winter comes and this ground freezes, it shifts this porch. And it does that to the door. It jams the door. But once I get everything finally bolted down, I can adjust my door and everything will be perfectly level from then on. It's getting hot out. It's not really hot out. It's about a half as humid as yesterday. Shut up! So this is what I was telling you. This is the slot right here. So that'll slide into the I-beam. And then uh, and then I can bolt it down, you know, this way. So these will be holding the end down, as well as the I-beam on either side of the beam has a hole on either side. So I can drill it, bolt the I-beam down, then slide this over the I-beam like I just showed you, and bolt that down. So, yeah. I just don't know if I have enough concrete anchors. Oh, look at that. Beautiful breeze. Dennis still has my fan. Here's the other whole box of wire I gotta go through. Here's a pail of freaking wire. Yeah, we're really wired. I got little concrete anchors, but they're not gonna be good enough. I need the big bastards. At least a 5 8 drill bit. I don't know where the hell I put them. I couldn't have used them all. But... Wow, what a cheap piece of shit. Look at that. This fell apart. Oh, oh well. I might have to go and buy some, I guess. No big deal. So. Yeah, I don't know. So, unfortunately, my ball breaking got the best of me. Sometimes I don't know when to keep my mouth shut. Sometimes I throw stupidest shit out there just to be funny, just to catch people's reactions and stuff, you know? I like catching people off guard and just saying the dumbest shit that comes to my mind. And, of course, I generally don't think first, you know, because if people joke around with me, I joke around with them. And, of course, I don't just, you know, step over the line. I dive over the line with my stupidity and my jokes. And... Unfortunately, I pissed Brian off. I owe Brian a, um, sorry, Brian. I owe him an apology because I upset Brian with my stupidity, my ball break. And Brian's a really nice guy. I mean, I kind of feel bad that I pissed him off. And, uh, I mean, he's he'd help anybody. You know, he'd give you the shirt off his back. And now I feel like an asshole because I was breaking his balls too much. But, you know, I mean, sometimes you don't know when you're hurting somebody's feelings or pissing them off. I mean, and, you know, I'm kind of, usually people, I'll break balls. And, like, I have a friend of mine, Tucci's Hot Rod. Well, I didn't know that he was, you know, a very heavy church-going person. And I used to send him all kinds of dirty jokes and stuff. And after I found out that, I almost had a stroke. I'm like, oh, my God. I said, I couldn't even believe I was doing that. I said, and I told him, I said, you know, Dave, I said, you got to tell me this stuff. I don't know if it upset you. I'm like, I'm just a goofy ball breaker, you know. You know, and Dave was pretty cool. I mean, he goes, yeah, he goes, just, just kind of lighten up on the, the ball breaking. I'm like, absolutely not a problem. So... I don't break his balls anymore because he told me, you know, I got to stop assuming because I generally assume if I break your balls, you break my balls. And that kind of gives me a green light, you know, but if you don't break my balls or you say, hey, I don't think that's funny. OK, not a problem. I'll stop breaking your balls. But, you know, you got to give somebody a heads up. I mean, everybody knows me. 
knows I love breaking balls. I like saying the stupidest shit that comes out of my head just to make you go, what in the hell is wrong with you? You know what I mean? So, I think I did it a little too much and pissed off Brian, which I totally really didn't mean to do. So, again, Brian, if you're watching this video, sorry. You know, but Brian's a good shit, man. I tell you, if you need him, he's there. He was here for me for the digging. I mean, he busts his ass for people. And, uh, you know, I know he's got a lot of pressure on his plate with his job that he's doing. And he deals with the public. And you know how the public are. They'll piss you off in two seconds. And then he meets Andy. <laughs> and then he meets Andy with my goofy horse shit. Oh, my God. You know, things happen and it's, you know, you don't know. Unless somebody says, hey, stupid, shut the hell up. And I'd be like, oops, sorry, okay. Anyways, that was my official apology to Brian that I made him upset. I really didn't mean to. And uh, I'm sure we can, you know, figure everything out and I hope get back to the buddy system again where, you know. But anyhow, um, that's about it. I mean, I'm just, I'm not going to keep trying to lay underneath this shithole trying to hold a camera and decide which wire i'm going to cut or not cut you know what i mean it's, you see what i'm doing here today so i'm just going to finish this up i'll gather up all the wire i'll come in the garage i'll separate out you know what i'm going to scrap what i'm going to keep um you know like some of these control boxes i might try to put them on ebay but these have special plugs in the back which are buried in this box that they plug into this weird ass thing so and they work but, like, this TV will probably, I don't know, that might just sit up on the shelf for now. I, I don't know yet. But this hard drive, I really can't give that away to anybody. But, like, these I'll save. You can always use a power strip. This is how dirty it was under my desk. Look at that. And I actually dusted this a little bit. Man, I could have had a hell of a freaking fire underneath my desk. It was so dusty. Oh, here's that special plug. Here's one. Where does this go in? This must go in this box. Yep. So, yeah, these take the special plugs. Like that. So if I go to sell it, you know, somebody can use all this for their system. I mean, it still works. Yeah, okay, here's these weird-ass adapters for that TV. Anyhow, that's it. That's enough of that. And, uh... Have a good one. I'll catch you later. I gotta go back and play with the freaking spiders, which I absolutely freaking hate. So, you know, I mean, there's nothing deadly in there. It's just a thought of one of them big, long-legged bastards climbing around on you when you're trying to drill holes for concrete. So I might just have to man up and get my chicken shit ass in there through the spiders and finally bolt down these I-beams. Oh, I gotta go by the legs first. All right, everybody. Have a good one. And uh, Brian, if you're watching this, hopefully I'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.